Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here in Vanilla FM and today we're going to take a look at the new season we now play in the Skybet League 2. Finally we have been promoted. Um, I have had a chance to play a few of the matches in this league uh, and actually a few for the cup as well. So we are one, two, three, four matches into the league going on to the fifth. Doing quite well so far. We sadly lost for the Carabao Cup in the first round against Reading, which is fair enough because they are a couple of leagues above us. We also lost against Forest Green for the Papa John's Cup. Uh, that's a group, so we'll have more matches for that um, going ahead. Now, biggest thing is what happened to the squad. So I'm going to give you a squad overview just to show you, show you some changes, and then we're going to jump into a match. So. As far as goalkeepers, we still have Owen Evans, our main goalkeeper from last year. I'm sure you will remember him if you've been following the series. And we have a goalkeeper on loan. His name is Thato. He's from Leicester and Nugent. Which you can name, by the way, if you go to uh, Patreon, you can um, sign up. And I'll assign a name chosen by you to a Nugent. Now, on the right side of the fence, we have Sai Sachdev. He's a new player. A very good new player. Been have, keeping an eye on him for a while now, and he's finally joined on, uh, on a free transfer. And we still have uh, Blaine Rowe. Left side of the fence, we have Jarvin Fritz on loan from Plymouth. And we still have Gray Young, if I can find him. Gray Young, currently injured. So he's from last year. Center of defense, we only have one new player. So uh, just to show you the players that we had before, uh, Jaden Lott is still with us. Um, uh, Harrison Burke also is still with us. And our probably the best um, player, but having a rest at the moment, Alex Ho Hoines, uh, also still with us. New to the squad though, on loan, uh, Omar. 33 year old, played in a lot of different clubs, in a lot of different leagues. So, very experienced there. Just to complete that position for the bench, mainly. Midfield, we had a couple of changes, uh, in, especially in the defensive midfield. So, Chris Austin on loan, the defensive midfielder, is mainly a center defender as well, but he's playing in that position for us. And also, Jack. Where is Jack? Also new gen. Oh, also on loan. Uh, the midfield itself, we don't have any changes. We still have Adam Cooper and we still have um, Callum Springer. Stringer. Callum Stringer. There you go. Right side of attack and left side of attack, we still have Rayon Dillon on the right side with Adam O'Shea. Still haven't managed to improve on Adam Oshia. I think I might have to rethink this position because it's very difficult to find players that play the wide target man position on the right. The left side we still have uh, Karen and Fedel. Fedel was Lang. In attack. Mainly the same strikers. We've actually struggled to improve this position. Uh, so we still have Patrick Casey, currently injured. Uh, ben. And Kai. And back again, a blast from the past, Leighton Stewart. He played with us before. And then went away to Crawley and then came back. So he was one of our main players when we were in a National League. Um... And now he's come back to us again. So, that is it for the squad. Cohesion is good. Got a good spread of players. Uh, we now have another 21s league as well that we play. England under 21s Division 3 South. And we're doing okay for that. I'm not sure if we've played many matches. Let's have a look. Two matches. The other 18s have also played. More matches, four matches, and they find themselves in the third. Finance wise, we're doing pretty bad, so this could be a problem going ahead for the future. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think we're okay for everything. 
So one last thing to check before we jump into a match. The season preview. And yeah, they have predicting us to be bottom of the league. Actually, so far, we managed to stay in the promotion zone, but I think that might change. It's still the beginning of the season, so a lot of games to play still. Now, one of the things that is going to be new in this episode is all the branding. So uh, from now on, we have quite neat branding for the EFL. So we're going to sit through this and just see how it all looks. I, I think I liked it better when you could see the faces of each player, but... Oh well, this is the table at the moment. Here's Bradford, and here we are. It's a shame that it doesn't highlight us. So we're playing against, against Bradford... Uh, sorry, away against Bradford, Bradford for this game. And I think that might be a red card straight away. Is that a red card? Yeah. <laughs> So we find ourselves without a defensive midfielder within the first minute of the match. Fantastic. Let's see what we can do here with 10 men. Nice for Ben. Can he score? He can. And it's going to... It's going to be a goal, no offside. Good job. Cool. Okay. So the main issue for us this season is the funding. Not a lot of money going around for us. Our stadium is quite small as well, so we, we don't get an awful lot from Gates. I wonder what we're spending. Probably wages. Maybe the youth setup as well. We haven't really added any more staff, although we did renew uh, a handful of contracts. It's mostly the same staff anyway. I haven't really added different coaches or anything like that. So I think... Um, at this point, well, the, the board changed recently, so it's unlikely it will change again. So, I don't know, we might just have to wait and see. Uh, I'm not sure we can do any player sales, unless we start sale selling youth players. That's a pretty good goal, actually, from, um, from Bradford. tackle and then pass it in goalkeeper tried to cover it but it's just too bad okay no problem it's still a draw so far nice okay counter attack let's go Oh, that's a poor pass. We do have 
five sub substitutions in the, this league to use up. So we have more players on the bench and also we have five subs to use up. Nice defense there. Over there, can Oshia get there in time? That's the question. Oh, it's a penalty. <laughs> Nicely put in. Okay, so we're back on top. thing with the subs is that we have to use them up in three stoppages so I did one at half time which doesn't count as a stoppage and then I can use up three more stoppages to change players that's a pretty good goal by Ben as well let's watch it again a little bit distracted. So from the fence all the way up, control the ball, beat his player. Well, his player just let him go, really. And then beat the keeper. center defender. Let's do Adam with Stringer. All right, minute 69. We are going to do the rest of the subs. So three subs to come. actually have a youth player in the mix. Tomkinson is from our, I think, under 21s. Because um, Greg Young is um, out on injury, so we didn't have a player for that substitution. Like a, another diff um, left defender. Offside, yeah. Good, good, good. She is there waiting. Good job, guys. It's kind of hilarious how our worst player overall, and he's been our worst player for a long time, Adam Oshia, is actually our top goal scorer at the moment with four goals a season. Another 
goal for Bradford. Seven goals this game already. Pretty good game. And the waiting a lot. Hmm. He's losing his players, but although it says he's playing well, but yeah. Okay, but we won anyway. And that is what matters in the end. So we are actually top of the league at the moment, five matches in. I'm sure when Birmingham, once Birmingham is played, they're going to top the table, I'm sure. Alright, so I'm going to carry on until the end of this, the year, so until January. And then I will come back up and update you on any transfers that occur over the January transfer window. Uh, so yeah, see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.